State of Idaho Plaintiff v. Lori Noreen Ballo, a.k.a. Lori Noreen Daybell, Defendant. Count 1, Conspiracy to Commit First-Degree Murder and Grand Theft by Deception. Count 3, Conspiracy to Commit First-Degree Murder and Grand Theft by Deception. Count 4, First-Degree Murder. Count 5, Conspiracy to Commit First-Degree Murder. The crimes are unimaginable. Lori Ballo Daybell stood trial for the murder of her own children, 16-year-old Tylee and 7-year-old JJ. She was also accused of killing Tammy Daybell, the wife of her current husband, Chad. The judge in the case did not allow cameras in the Idaho courtroom during testimony, but we have audio and transcripts of the proceedings. Here was prosecutor Lindsay Blake. Money, power, and sex. That's what this case is about. It didn't matter what obstacle she had to remove to get what she wanted. And if it was a person, it didn't matter who. Lori was a beauty contestant. Anybody you spoke to who knew Lori back then said that she was like the mother of the year. The problem really seems to have started when Lori started following Chad Daybell. Chad was a podcaster and author of doomsday novels. Then in late 2019, Lori's two children mysteriously disappeared. Meantime, Lori and Chad are on the beach in Hawaii having the time of their lives. They get married and they wouldn't talk to police at all and they wouldn't tell anybody where the kids were. Even after Lori was arrested, she still refused to say anything about where the kids were. How come you're not telling anybody where your kids are? People looked all over the country for these kids. Months after vanishing into thin air, the remains of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan were found buried here in Chad Daybell's backyard. What we have gathered was that Chad had this belief that some people who were on this earth weren't really the people they were supposed to be. They were zombies. And the only way to release their spirits was to kill the bodies. And if that's not disturbing enough, Lori started referring to her children as zombies. She had this um, grading system where she could read people's auras and they were either dark or light. And she had described Tylee as having a dark spirit. I feel like she's kind of a monster. But defense attorney Jim Archibald claimed there was no way for Lori to have committed the crimes. Lori Vallow was in her own apartment in Rexburg, Idaho when J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan died and Lori was in Hawaii when Tammy Daybell died. I've thought a lot about why this story hit such a chord with a wide variety of people. And I think it's because these kids, and then when you throw in the cult aspect of this, we've certainly seen movies with all of this, but I'm not sure we've ever seen anything like this in real life, in true crime. In regards to count one of the amended indictment, answer, guilty. Count two, guilty. Count three, guilty. Count four, guilty. Count five, guilty. Count seven, guilty. 